equipment. Hi everyone. Today we are going to be reviewing a product that I have actually tried to do video, but I keep getting interrupted. And so, um, anywho, today we are going to do the warming up now. Warming up now. So it is called the Bedhead Wave Artist. Okay, and it's really neat. It's really nicely designed. The off and on switch is right here. You can control your level of heat by um, swiveling this right here, up and down. The power is right here. And what I like about this also, on top, this little button here will release the curling iron to where you can roll your hair, which I'm going to keep it together till it gets hot. This is your power indicator. That's just my Facebook telling me I've got a message or something, but we'll get to that. And so, anyways, um, you know, I got this because, you know, I, of course I have the longer hair, but my hair is very straight. The only reason why it is a little wavy is because I was curling it and then I put it up in a bun for a little bit. But my hair is very hard, very, very hard to curl. I've already treated it with some... Hey! Excuse me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Heat resistant spray. So that way it will not damage my hair. And I always recommend, tell people, you know, it's very affordable to get the heat resistant spray. And I recommend always, if you're going to use your hair dryer or you're going to use your curling iron, always spray your hair with the heat resistant spray so it does not damage your hair because. You know, you don't want, you always want to keep your hair, hair, hair healthy. As you can see, I have gotten a little bit of a haircut, so it's not as long as it used to be. It was giving me headaches and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, my hair normally parts about here, but I kind of let it do whatever it wants to do. So, so what I'm going to do right now is kind of put it in a kind of section it off a little bit, just kind of section it in half here and I am going to go ahead and put half of it up so this way I don't have a hard time there we go beautiful huh maybe I should go out like this tonight I gotta go to one of my children's functions and I'll just walk in and say hey kids I'm here and they'll kill me but anyways uh, nothing I want to get even with them for tonight, so I won't do that. So I'm waiting for it to get a little bit hotter, and then we will begin. Um, so I got this a couple months ago off Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks. It really wasn't that much of a gouge at all. About <laughs> the same price as you would pay for any curling iron. You know, I've seen some curling irons out there that cost more, that pretty much do what any of, the, any of them other do, but um, any others. Any other curling iron does. There we go. <laughs> and so, let's go ahead. I mean, it's. I can feel it's getting hot just by here. My. I mean, it hasn't gotten red or anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if it does what it's supposed to do. And we're going to start right here, I guess. Okay. Which first thing you do is to release it, you flick right here. And then you start at the top. And just like a regular crimper, you just a little bit bring it down. Oh, that's smoking. That is really kind of scaring me. Okay. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Okay, let's try. Maybe it's not hot enough. I don't know. We'll try another. Well, I guess so. When I look at it from this angle. In the camera, it does look a little bit like maybe, maybe, I don't know. You think the way it was smoking that it would have been. Okay, we're going to just leave that one alone for now since I just did that one. Okay, and we're going to move to another strand of hair. Okay, let's try this one. See if I can do this without burning myself once again. 
lick it. Now, it does have like a little groove right here for like your thumb or your finger, however you feel most comfortable holding it. Okay, hold it. Okay, then bring it on down. Maybe if I get a few more of these waves in, we might be able to tell a little bit of a difference. One dog starts, they all start. Okay, let's see. No, maybe that's too big of a... Okay. Now that we've got it started... What's the matter? Well, yeah, I guess it gives like a little bit. Maybe if I hold it upwards like this and bring it up. Okay, and then this one. I don't want to leave the heat on too much because, you know, I don't want to fry my hair at the same time because, like I said, I do have a event to go through um, at the school this evening for my son, his ROTC ceremony, award ceremony, and so I don't want to look you know, come in there bald with all burned head. So let's go ahead and we're just going to continue on with these other pieces. And then when I guess when I pull down the other half, we will see if it's been if it's good or bad. If I should just go ahead and restraighten it because I have mixed feelings right now about this curling iron. I really don't know. So, we're just going to continue on. It's pretty easy for me to tell which hasn't been, because uh, it does, you know how that texture your hair gets when it gets a little curled, you know, and it has um, kind of a more different texture to it than it is when it's, you know, straight and smooth. Which, you know, my hair is just originally straight and smooth. It's hard to do anything with my hair. So, you know, if I ever find anything that really seems like a miracle curling iron, I'm going to so, you know, do any kind of video to promote it. And uh, let people know, hey, this does work. And I even put product in my hair. So, you know, I, I do have product in my hair to help with the curl, to help with the body. Okay, this one hasn't been. Well, we're about to find out. You know, okay, let's see. Now what I'm going to do. Let me lock it again, which I highly recommend locking it if you're not doing something with it. Okay. And I'm going to let this side down compared to this side. And I don't see much of a difference. To be honest, I really maybe a little bit extra body to it. I'm not really seeing a huge difference, but we're going to go ahead and even it out because, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. I mean, just a little bit more extra body. I don't have as straight. I guess for somebody who, uh, ooh. Thank you there.
That one turned out better. For somebody that has natural wavy hair, this might be really good for you. It just to get those beach curls that is so easy to get if you already have wavy hair. But if you don't have wavy hair, I mean, I'm, I'm mixed. Part of me likes it. Part of me is not sure what to think. And part of me doesn't like it. I also recommend starting with clean, well, I don't know now. I guess I wasn't looking at it from that kind of perspective. I mean, it does put a little bit of a wave in there. So, I really can't complain because, I mean, if it's got a little bit of a wave, that's different for me from my hair because I don't have a natural wave in it. Okay, let's see. Let me lock it and get to where I know I have to curl. Okay, we're going to put this up. With this. Okay, and then... I really don't have that much left to go. And I guess if I was probably more adventurous to use higher heat, but to me that's just taking too much of a risk and damaging your hair. Because I've already got it on pretty high heat as it is, as you can tell from that when I first put it on and it started smoking. And I was like, whoa! Okay, but so we don't want that. Okay. Just about there. Okay, so I pretty much just done a quick job on this other side, just enough to give it as much body as it did on the one side. And we're going to just take a look now at a full head of hair. Well, for body, extra body, I give it a thumbs up, okay? Because it did give me that extra body that I normally don't have. I can just kind of foof it and spray it and go, okay? So... You know, this pretty much takes a lot of my job out of the out of, out of my hair for tonight, as it is. You know, I just have to spray it and put some earrings on and go. So, I can't complain as far as that goes. But as far as beach curls for somebody with very straight hair, I don't think so. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do, since... We're going to go ahead and turn the heat up a little higher. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that risk, okay? Just for you guys. And we're going to take this section right here in just a second. A small section. Just for all fairness, because I do want to give an accurate review. And we're going to give it a shot. Once again, you release it by pressing that button. I can feel it is getting hotter. And I am going to leave it longer on the hair. Because like I said, just to be on the fair side. I do not like that thing coming up. That just freaks me out. Okay. And. Well. Maybe that's the problem. Okay. So if. If you have. If you have the higher, uh, higher temperature setting on there, 
I wouldn't call it a beach curl though, but I hate to take that kind of um, dare with my hair. I'm sorry, but you know, it's a little scary. So anyways, this is my review on the bed head, which it says wave artist. So yeah, okay, it does give a little bit of a wave. It doesn't say, it just says wave artist. So if you have thicker hair, and I hate repeating myself. It'll do great for you. If your hair curls easily, I think it'll do great. As far as somebody with very fine, thin hair like me, you might want to invest in one of my other curling irons that I gave a better review to. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully I will have some more coming soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in.